in with some sensory bins. Oh. Look. What are those? Huh? He loves playing with this kind of stuff. And I've decided you probably hear classical music in the background. It's kind of loud. I need to turn it down. Oh my goodness! That looks cool. Looks like noodles. So I've decided to make this drawer. I have to clean this stuff out. Um, I've decided to make this drawer his drawer because I was putting some of his art stuff over here. But I feel like I'm going to make this a sensory drawer basically. So I have like his acorns in there. I need to put more acorns in there. And these things which he loves little eggs that my mom just got him and there's crowns back there his stamps and then those were in there with a lid I'm gonna like put all his sensory stuff in there because I want him to be able to go through there and take something out and want to be able to play with it but I've kept the paper away because if he pulls the crowns out then I'll get the paper because I don't want him like pulling it all out and getting like paper cut look how much fun you're having I love sensory stuff for him, like, in the winter. And last winter, I brought, like, obviously, he was really little to, like, play in the snow. We brought him outside in the snow, but, like, not to be able to play. So I brought, like, a Tupperware, and I filled it with snow. And I put it on him in his, like, um, I put him in his mama's and papa's chair. And I put the Tupperware on there with the snow in And he had so much fun playing in the snow. It was so cute. And you guys, I'm so excited because me and Rob talked last night, and even though we are doing a pretty strict budget because we're trying to save as much money as we can just to have money in the bank to save and if we want to do something we have money to you know what i mean because we are making a lot more money with his promotions that he's had since starting where he works when he had a huge he got a big raise when paxton was born and then he did get a raise when he got promoted to the senior systems engineer but, um, you know, sometimes when you make more money, you still don't seem to save much of it. So, we don't want to live like we were before he even got the job living, like, paycheck to paycheck. So, and we don't have to live like that if we save our money because we do make a lot more than we used to. And we're able to save a lot. So, we just need to discipline ourselves to do that. And, like, just, you know, going out to eat, like, going to Wawa all the time, that, you know, that adds up a lot. So, whoop. obviously we're still gonna budget ourselves to have spending money, of course, but just so we're putting a big chunk of it away as well. So, even though we're doing that, we talked about it last night and I'm going to be able to buy my camera that I've been wanting, wanting to get, even if my camera was fixed, but I, if it was fixed, I was just going to get the camera that I'm gonna get in a little while but now since I obviously my camera's still broken <laughs> I'm gonna probably just sell that camera for what I can get for it I was gonna smash it but I'd rather just have what I can get for it but I'm able to get it hopefully in the beginning of October I'm hoping so are you biting your truck what are you doing <laughs> so I'm really excited about that and it's not a cheap camera that's why I was planning on waiting for it but since I don't have my camera besides my GoPro and for my sit down videos, I have my Canon EOS M camera but that cannot, I cannot use that unless I am with Rob and he can focus it and a lot of times he works late and I would just want to film a quick video and I can't because I, the autofocus is horrible. Even though it's expensive, it's going to be a big investment and just nice to have a really nice camera so. What? He knows that I do really need a new camera and he knows that it's investment to my channel and for you guys to have higher quality videos, even though the iPhone does an okay job, in low light, it's horrible. I can't film, like I have to turn on like all the lights for you guys to be able to see me. And outside it's fine and the audio is not that great. And it just takes up all my storage. Not being able to film because I don't have enough storage or not being able to film because it's draining my battery drives me insane. Just on my way home, I had to run out and get wipes for packs and I picked up little remedies, cough medicine because the Tylenol is like, you know, it's a fever reducer and common cold, but I figured this one's like for cold, for cough and mucus. And that's kind of like what he's getting. It's like mucusy. His cough is sounding. So 
this will hopefully help and it's all like natural ingredients and everything and it's a 12 month um, medicine. 10.40 Pax has been sleeping for an hour now and I hope when he wakes up he feels a little bit better because he's just so stuffed up. I gave him the medicine that I got and it's an all natural medicine but hopefully it works really good. He's just like getting like mucusy I feel. But we actually got a TV for my dad, free TV. The sound wasn't working, but he said if Rob can fix it, then we can have it. Rob, say hi. Hi. Now we haven't played video games in forever. Just something fun for us to do when Pax goes to bed. But we're definitely not letting him play video games until he's way older. Pax and Mike's a tuna. Like Paxton's just getting his practice in for when we have another baby. He's gonna help mommy push the stroller. Thirsty. Me too. Thirsty. And... She go get a water. Okay. I just filmed my eight DPO video, and I tried to make it. I tried not to make it like too lengthy, just short, sweet, and to the point. What symptoms I'm having and all that. So that will be up yesterday. I'm gonna put it up. Today, so your guys yesterday. Daddy, you're watching a baseball game or a softball game. Okay. Rob was just saying it feels so good. You right? <laughs> uh oh, what happened? Uh oh. Man down. Oh no. <laughs> oh. No. Careful. What's the temperature you think? 68 degrees, something like that. Right, Rob? You think? Yeah. 68. Yeah. 66. It feels so good. There's like such a nice breeze. This is the longest he's been on the swing now. Oh, I jinxed it. Good job, mommy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Rob was putting his wood over there on his rack. Paxton picked up a piece of wood and goes, Dad! And like trying to chase after him with a piece of wood. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And of course I didn't get on video. That was like really sweet. is loving his dinner. <laughs> good job, Paxton. Is it good, Rob? <laughs> I was like, he makes you want to make that sound. And Rob's like, I always want to make that sound. He's like shoving them in his mouth. Oh You're finally eating back to your normal self. Oh my gosh. Just getting ready to put the cookies in. And I don't know if you've done this before. I'm sure a lot of you have. But if you haven't, make some cookies and sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on them. Oh my gosh. It makes the cookies 10 times better. They are so good like that. Now I've never done them on like store-bought cookies i've only ever done it on like homemade cookies because that's what i usually make but i'm gonna put them on and hopefully 
they still taste really good with it. I'll let you guys know. But if you've never put sea salt on them, make cookies and then sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on each one and let me know what you think about it because, oh my gosh, it's my favorite thing ever. Mm, guys, the chocolate chip cookies are so good, especially with the sea salt, even though they're just like the um, packaged ones, I wasn't sure if they'd be as good, but they're really good. But we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. So I hope you guys liked it. Thumbs up if you did, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.